Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Build series. So I have been grinding resources like crazy. I have gotten a bunch of deep slate. There's chests, you just can't see them because I'm up too high. But there is chests that I have laid out all the way around the wall here that I've filled up with deep slate and I want to get going on this wall. Now, as I was saying last episode, I don't want to bore you guys too much with just doing wall builds. So I was thinking that this episode could maybe do that kind of bit more of a tidy up episode. I will also do some building on the wall. Um, and I've yet to determine if I'm going to put it in the episode or if you're just going to see it at the end of the episode finished. But I was thinking that could be a good aim for this episode. I know 1.18 is obviously coming faster and faster and there's a lot in this world that I want to accomplish you know obviously build up this military base I had plans for like my own castle like this wasn't even my main base that I was planning this was just a little bit of an extra thing so there's like a lot of those things that I still have that I want to accomplish in this world so this is not to say that this world is ending with the introduction of 1.18 uh, all I'm saying is I'm considering it, haven't decided, because I know in another world I could do great things too. And with the, yeah, huge world terrain generation changes, I'm not so sure that I want to do the whole chunk reloading in here. But we'll find out. So I did kind of look at some more designs for the gatehouse, and I think I have an idea of how I want to do that, so we can maybe try and accomplish that, maybe finish off this bridge this episode. Uh, I definitely want to plan out where I want to have other buildings. So I began to do a little bit of an armory design, which I would like to go right here. It would be up against that wall. It's fairly large, like I want to have lots of space within it. Uh, so I was considering right in this area for the armory, maybe like a mess hall or a barrack somewhere. So I think laying out kind of where those are going to go is going to help me be able to know where the roads are going to go or how much terraforming I need to do and the like. So that is kind of my goal for this episode. I guess we just have to start going, right? Okay, so the first thing I want to lay out here is another tower like this right here. And I might connect them in some way. I'm not, like, I don't know how I would do that. But I might connect them in some way. It's probably a little bit further far away from each other. I know things look better in threes. Or, like, odd numbers. Odd numbers always make things look better. In case anybody wanted some design info. So this would kind of be where I would put it. So I'm not sure I like just the two. But I don't know if it would be too much to add three towers, especially all like in this general area. So just thoughts that I'm considering as I'm looking at this space. And like I said, there's a huge amount of space in here to fill. I definitely need to start laying stuff out. Let's just lay out while we're in the planning stage. Not what I was first going to start with, but it works. So while we're in the planning stage here, I'm kind of thinking that I don't want the armory like directly against this wall. I want a little bit of a walkway, but more of an alleyway over a road. So possibly we could just do a three space so it's a little bit narrower than what most of my roads would be. So if we called this this direction, yeah, it would something, it would be a little bit something like this. Like I want it huge, massive. So if we have the armory here, like as soon as you come in, I don't know what we'll put back here. Maybe just like a pathway around. Let's see what this guy has. Come here. I mean, he has tropical fish. Which, ooh, and he has brain coral, which I've been using for stone. Hmm. Don't go anywhere. Oh, good. He's still here. So I want to buy the brain coral block from him. I know you can't get much. And I actually do want to buy a bucket of tropical fish. Um, actually, I do want to buy two. So 
So if you don't mind, we're going to get a little sidetracked here from laying out and planning things because I just remembered two things. So one, I told you guys last episode that I was going to put the netherite ingots onto my gear first thing in this episode and I've forgotten because I should learn to write these things down so I remember. <laughs> um, probably would have remembered as soon as I started editing the video. So let's run over and let's do that. Now the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is while I was mining all the deep slate, uh, I actually ended up coming across another axolotl. Now I came across another pink one, but I decided to get this little yellow guy here and uh, this pink guy. So I figured let's breed them. There we go. Let's see what baby they make. Ooh, they made a little yellow guy. He's so cute. So yeah, so I got a second axolotl. So now we have three. Okay, so I have made myself a smithing table. I don't know where to put it. My teapot is uh, speedily running out of room. But anyways, uh, let's just put it. Oh, that was not the smithing table. Let's just put it there and let's grab these ingots. Now, I did not end up getting anything else onto my gear, like any other things that I might have missed. So I know this production four and breaking three, mending, I'm pretty good with that. Feather falling four, depth strider three, I'm breaking two, protection four. So that definitely needs another unbreaking. And my helmet needs another unbreaking. But my tools um, are pretty good. Diamond shovel definitely needs another unbreaking. But my fortune pickaxe, I mean, and my silk touch pickaxe, I'm fine with. So I'm going to definitely put it on those. So let's do the pickaxes first. So here's one. Here's two. Let's put it on the axe as well. How many more do we have? We have seven. Let's put it on my sword. I don't actually mind the enchantments on my sword right now. Let's definitely put it on my pants. So let's put it on the chest plate, the netherite ingot. Let's now put it on my helmet. I can put one on my hoe too. guys completed the challenge that was so super really loud in my ear and I have no idea how it's gonna come across for you guys so basically I will never be able to get I'm breaking three on this because it's too expensive Does anybody know why that happens and this is 34 Wow that's a lot of levels oh well I have them <laughs> that's a lot of levels oh my goodness okay so I guess I can't put on breaking three on my boots. You know, they've served me well so far. I'm just going to put them on. And then on the shovel, we'll put the last one. There we go. That to have all in my inventory. Yay! I'm so excited. Look at me. <laughs> also the purple. Wow. Fits really well with my outfit. I like the look. We now are fully netherited up. I mean, obviously, if something happens to all this gear, it's gone and I have to start from scratch, but everything is netherite. And I'm really proud of that. It is, what is it, episode 23, and we have full netherite? Can't complain. Not at all. So let's get back to what I was doing um, before all of this happened before my remembering of the things that I told you that we were going to do and then me forgetting that I was told you I was going to do them. <laughs> yes, that is what we're going to head back to. So I'm not entirely sure what I want in this area. Having a blacksmith might actually be a really good idea having it right here. So let me grab this cobblestone. I think having the blacksmith right here beside where the armory is, I think is good. It might be a little bit too close to this tower here, in which case I might move it that way. So the other things I'm thinking of building, 
would be a stable area. I want a barracks. And I don't know if I want to include in the barracks the mess hall or if I want a separate mess hall. Armory, blacksmith, stables slash heavy equipment would kind of go along with that. And then down this direction, the barracks. So yeah, so something like this could be the barracks. And again, large. Like, all of these buildings need to be really super large. But I think those are kind of the main, main buildings that we should have inside of here. Anyways, I'm really enjoying how this is coming together and kind of the plans that are, and ideas that are coming to mind uh, for how to design the rest of these build. So I think this has been a really good planning session and kind of laying out where I want things. So I think here as the sun sets, uh, I'm going to take a quick sleep and then we're going to jump into a time lapse and finally get this bridge done. back. So this bridge took so much longer than I expected it to take. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, I think this is off one, isn't it? Yeah, so for some reason that backside is down one further than the front. I am liking it. I I I like kind of the arched design that I have going there. Uh in this very center part, I do want to thicken that up slightly so it would be a little bit more flat and rounded rather than pointed there. So I think the next project we should tackle is this gate between these two tall towers. I did get a chance to look at a couple other designs and yeah, I figured out a couple things that I think I would like to add to this to just make more pizzazz. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so I was just thinking about it. Um, I think I'm going to try the design that I have in my head to do here. Try lifting it up a couple blocks and then putting a little bit of a roof over top of it. And then to do that though, if I'm going to use the warped wood, uh, I actually need to go gather some. So I'm just going to quick run to the nether, gather some warped wood, and I'll come back and we'll see if I can put something together that looks a little better than what it's at. So I will jump back here in a sec after I go get some warped wood. And I'm back. So I have a bunch of warp stem, and I'm going to see what I can do here. First, I think, let's try and raise this up by one. Yeah, I think maybe just by one here, and I would raise the bottom here as well. For now, I'm not going to take 
like the bottom parts that I already have done. Like I'm not gonna break it down down bottom, I'm just gonna raise it up one. This will give enough height that you can then just cut into the face here. And I'm thinking on the side, this might not be high enough, but let's just try it on one side and see what it ends up looking like. If I do upside down warp stairs, okay, right, I forgot this was an even one. If I do something like this, and then from there I raise up So if instead we did these type of stairs, okay, and I think just you won't see it, but. Like, I'm just going to do an A-line roof and just see what that looks like. But what if I did on the inside, we did warped wood? I just want to like bring, I don't know, like color is not really the right word because I do like the black um, texture differences kind of, I guess you could say. I think it was just too plain before. Let's go look what this looks like from a distance. Ooh, I actually like that. That adds just that little bit of pop that you kind of want. But I think if we have this and then maybe on the inside, I could leave that open and do a fence or I could close it off with like walls. I like it. Let's go do the other side. That is not bad. That adds height to it. It adds like a different texture and depth. Ah, uh, That's much better. Now, I don't know about those side pieces if I would want to put something in there. Or if we just leave it open like I mean the concept here is to leave it slightly open but I do like that color difference it makes the gatehouse look much grander which I'm fond of since all of this is grand I think that adds a little extra piece to it so yeah I am really happy with how that turned out all the detail there with the iron bars down there and yeah the rest of it it just adds that little bit extra pizzazz that that area needed so i think for the rest of this episode i might actually start laying out some of this wall and getting some more wall done so anyways i will see you guys in a bit and with that we have done a huge amount of work in adding more wall to this army base so I'm really happy how it turned out this was like many hours of work and thankfully I uh, we actually still have some deep slate uh, in the chests that are laid around here so that's good the ones down there that you can't see right now just the shadow uh, those ones are empty but the ones around the rest still have deep slate in it so we can still keep building up the wall around there and I also noticed that I have some friends on top of uh, that tower right there. Anyways, they're, they're, they're kind of weird, but you know, it, it happens. <laughs> They've been here all the time, and because I've been going up and down on the walls, eh, I just ignore them. And then they, you know, unload and unload back in. So there is one more section of wall down by that last tower that we have to complete, and then the corner, and then 
we start going across the back, which is amazing and I love it. So yeah, let's just kind of fly down here. So this one still has no deep plate, I don't think, but these guys here have deep plate. Um, and those chests down there still have a fair amount of deep plate. I took like, I don't know, six stacks or something like that, but those ones were full. So I'm loving how this is turning out. Obviously very floaty, but we'll fix that. <laughs> um, I just don't have time in this episode to do that, but I'm happy with how much we were able to accomplish to build this up and yeah almost there to turn this corner and go across the back and once this wall is finished i'm gonna be super happy because this is a lot of deep slate and i know i'll still have to go grab more be before we're actually able to fully complete this wall but then we can start adding these other buildings in here and terraforming it and decorating it up and yeah just putting the finishing touches on here so overall, we have absolutely done so much in this episode, and I am loving how everything is turning out. So I just wanted to thank all of you for watching and supporting me as I make videos. If you like this content, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I will catch you in the next episode. Bye for now.